Today is July the 30th, and this day, like every day, we are on a journey. In this podcast, we will include readings of scripture, meditation, directed prayer, silent prayer, the Lord's Prayer, and worship. Our readings come from the Revised Common Lectionary. We begin in Psalm 49, verses 1 through 12, then we're on to Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. And we will finish in Mark's Gospel, chapter 10, verses 17 through 22. This is the word of the Lord. Psalm 49. For the choir director, a psalm of the descendants of Korah. Listen to this, all you people. Pay attention, everyone in the world. High and low, rich and poor, listen. For my words are wise and my thoughts are filled with insight. I listen carefully to many proverbs and solve riddles with inspiration from a harp. Why should I fear when trouble comes, when enemies surround me? They trust in their wealth and boast of great riches, yet they cannot redeem themselves from death by paying a ransom to God. Redemption does not come so easily, for no one can ever pay enough to live forever and never see the grave. Those who are wise must finally die, just like the foolish and senseless, leaving all their wealth behind. The grave is their eternal home, where they will stay forever. They may name their estates after themselves, but their fame will not last. They will die just like animals. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 These are the words of the teacher, King David's son who ruled in Jerusalem. Everything is meaningless, says the teacher, completely meaningless. What do people get for all their hard work under the sun? Generations come and generations go, but the earth never changes. The sun rises and the sun sets and hurries around to rise again. The wind blows south and then turns north. Around and around it goes, blowing in circles. Rivers run into seas, but the sea is never full. Then the water returns again to the rivers and flows out again into the sea. Everything is wearisome beyond description. No matter how much we see, we are never satisfied. No matter how much we hear... We are not content. History merely repeats itself. It has all been done before. Nothing under the sun is truly new. Sometimes people say, here's something new, but actually it is old. Nothing is ever truly new. We don't remember what happened in the past, and in future generations, no one will remember what we are doing now. Mark 10, 17-22 as Jesus was starting out on his way to Jerusalem, a man came running up to him, knelt down, and asked, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus asked. Only God is truly good. But to answer your question, you know the commandments. You must not murder. You must not commit adultery. You must not steal. You must not testify falsely. You must not cheat anyone. Honor your father and mother. Teacher, the man replied, I've obeyed all these commandments since I was young. Looking at the man, Jesus felt genuine love for him. There's still one thing you haven't done, he told him. Go and sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At this the man's face fell, and he went away very sad, for he had many possessions. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Mark. Praise to you, Lord Christ. And now let us take some time for silent prayer and reflection.
Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Lord, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in the giving that we receive. It is in the pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in the dying that we are being born to eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your grateful children, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all whom you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And now as our Lord has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let me invite you to join us for tomorrow's podcast, we meet each and every day to journey together into the loving heart of God. You can also join our other podcast, The Daily Radio Bible, where we go through the entire Bible over the course of a year. Find out more at dailyradiobible.com. Today's music was provided by the artist and composer, David Nebu. Find out more about his music at davidnebu.com. And now let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength, and let us always remember this, that you are loved. Alrighty, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.